Hi, this is Aprajita from Avaya Serviceability Engineering team. In this video, we will see how to get MPP logs using web administration of Avaya Voice Portal or Avaya Aura Experience Portal. We will begin our exercise by logging into Experience Portal Manager's web administration with a valid username and password. Once there, we need to know what all MPP servers have been configured for this Experience Portal Manager. So go to MPP servers under System Configuration to see the details. This page shows a list of all the MPP servers configured for the system. In our case, there is only one MPP configured. So now we know which MPP to look for. So go to System Monitor under Real-Time Monitoring. Under server name, it shows EPM as well as local hyperlinks. We are interested in accessing the MPP details, so click on local. This page shows the details about the local MPP server, its general information, operational state and mode, configurations, calls and resource status, etc. We want to go to the service menu link here, so click on service menu. It opens up a new window which is the service menu for this MPP. But as we are interested in logs of the MPP, click on logs in the left pane. So this page shows a list of all the log directories available for the MPP. So these are the different processes for which logs are captured. For our demonstration, let's click on administration here. It allows us to perform different actions on this log file, view, download or clear the log file. So let us try to download MPP main.log file here. So when I click on download, this window opens up, which allows us to open this file with a notepad application or we can save this file to our desktop. So let's try to open it up with the notepad. So when I click OK, it tries to open up the log files in the chosen editor. This is how these logs look in a notepad application. We can open up the same log files with some other editor to make more sense out of it. So this was about capturing the logs for a specific process from the MPP. Now let's click on diagnostics to see how we can capture more details from the MPP server and package them. So when I click on Diagnostics, this page opens up. Click on Pack Files link here. This page allows us to gather logs, transcriptions and utterances, debug files and pack them in a form of tar.gz which is easy to download as well as to share across. But we can capture all of them together by clicking on Check All. So when I click on check all and click on pack, as this is a resource consuming process to gather and bundle all the information from the MPP, it asks us for a confirmation. So when I click on OK here, it starts the process of gathering all the logs, transcriptions, utterances and debug files from the MPP server and compress them in the form of tar.gz. It takes a little while on this page to show us the output as there is a cumbersome process in the background running. So this page shows us the confirmation of pack files option that we have chosen. So it says that it has executed get mpp logs.sh script in the background. And down below it lists all the files it has captured from the system. At the end of it, it shows that log collection process has been successfully completed as well as it points us to the directory which contains tar.gz file. So you can access that file by logging into the command line access of Experience Portal Manager. 
It also gives us the option of downloading these files directly on our desktop by clicking on this link below. Right click on this link and click on save link as. So this is a logs directly residing on my desktop. I can save this bundle of logs, transcriptions and debug files on my laptop. So this completes our demonstration of how to gather MPP logs from the web administration of Experience Portal Manager. I hope this information was helpful. Thank you for your time today. For any questions, comments or feedback, please write to mentor at avaya.com or follow us on Twitter at avaya mentor. Thank you for choosing avaya.